we have Mitch Ward. Hi, everybody. How are you doing? Uh, so this weekend, I was at a party, and I was chatting up a lady. And a word of advice, when you do that, never, ever say the word documentary. <laughs> say anything else. Like, even if it makes sense to say the word documentary. Like, if you're talking about how this one guy ate nothing but McDonald's for an entire month, just say, malarkey! And then she'll be like, wow. This guy is a full minute of not saying the word documentary away from getting laid. <laughs> so uh, I had a friend in high school once named Mark, and Mark was the biggest character that I have ever known. Like, he was always finding new ways to lower my self-esteem. Like, he would come up to me and he'd be like, hey, Mitch, you were in one of my dreams, and you shot me. Not only that, you have terrible fucking aim. It took you three tries. And I was like, most people just call me gay for watching Lost. <laughs> um, but once Mark came up to me and he was like, Mitch, Dan spread a rumor that I hooked up with this girl that I didn't hook up with, and now we're gonna go Pulp Fiction on his ass. And I was like, I can't say no to that. So we go to an empty classroom and we invite Dan there. We didn't kill him. Um, he sits down in one seat, Mark in the other, and I stand behind Mark. And this is kind of like the opening scene of The Godfather, except Mark's wearing the scorpion jacket that Ryan Gosling wears in Drive. So we were mixing our references a bit, but it was still pretty awesome. So we're sitting down, and then Mark's like, Dan, do I look like a bitch? Dan's like, no. <laughs> then why are you trying to fuck me like one? Again, Mark here is speaking in the first person perspective, whereas Samuel L. Jackson was speaking in the third person perspective, but it was still pretty awesome. So there's silence after that. Everything's very tense. And then the bell rings. And I say, oh, I gotta get to class! <laughs> ruined it. Um, should have just said documentary. <laughs> so, um, I don't know if you guys have seen the new trailer for the Peanuts movie that's coming out soon, but uh, they gave Snoopy a love interest, which is dumb. Because the Snoopy I know is a fuck beast. <laughs> Ain't no one bitch can hold Snoopy down. <laughs> Heh. Um, so, as you can tell, I really enjoy movies, and um, recently I finally got around to seeing Gone Girl, which is a good movie, uh, except one thing. I was told going into it that I would get to see Ben Affleck's dick, and you only see, like, the tip of his dick, and, like, I was weirdly bummed out. I was like, no, no, I was promised Ben Affleck's dick. And it made me look back on all the other movies I've seen and see them through a new, like, perspective. The Town. Great movie. Awesome action. Affleck knocked the directing job out of the park. But we don't see his dick. B. Good Will Hunting. Amazing script from Affleck and Damon. Robin Williams gives an amazing performance not to be missed. We don't see Ben Affleck's dick. C minus. <laughs> Citizen Kane. <laughs> Not only is there no Ben Affleck dick, guys, there's no Ben Affleck. <laughs> F. <laughs> the Martian, really fun, A minus. <laughs> that was all the time. Uh, I saw The Martian with Joey, actually. That guy over there. And um, I was really hoping at the end of it, Matt Damon would get back to Earth, and he'd like, go to a press conference facing the nation, and they'd be like, by the way, I really don't like Asian actors. And then they send him back to Mars. <laughs> All right, thanks, guys. I'm